What factors do you consider when evaluating treatment options for your patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis? Do you consider immune status, metabolic health, family and clinical history, and other factors? In recent years, advancements in the understanding of the pathogenesis of psoriasis have led to the development of more precisely targeted treatment options. Current research shows IL-23 is a central cytokine in the inflammatory pathway of psoriasis. Targeting IL-23 with the right combination of dosing, pharmacokinetics, and binding profile could offer a fundamental treatment option for patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Consider Illumia, Tildrakizumab, an IL-23 inhibitor indicated for the treatment of adults with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis who are candidates for systemic therapy or phototherapy. Illumia may increase the risk of infection, 23% Illumia versus 22% placebo. The most common, greater than or equal to 1% adverse reactions that were more frequent than in the placebo group are upper respiratory infections, injection site reactions, and diarrhea. Please see additional important safety information at the end of this video and the full prescribing information at IllumiaPro.com. Illumia is the only single injection IL-23 specific inhibitor with quarterly maintenance dosing. Illumia precisely targets IL-23, an immunomodulatory cytokine that regulates the inflammatory pathway that causes psoriasis. Although IL-23 is made up of two subunits, Illumia binds only to the P19 subunit that is unique to IL-23, and not the P40 subunit that is also found in another cytokine called IL-12. Both IL-23 and IL-12 are produced by stimulated dendritic cells. IL-12 helps induce the conversion of naive T cells into Th1 cells. However, Th1 cells are now generally believed to play virtually no role in chronic psoriasis. By binding only to the P19 subunit, Illumia does not inhibit IL-12, which is a naturally occurring cytokine that protects against infection and cancer. Selectively modulating IL-23 also decreases the cellular inflammatory infiltrate typically seen within psoriasis lesions. IL-23 is critical for maintaining disease-causing Th17 cells in an inflammatory state. Th17 cells are now widely considered to be crucial to the psoriatic disease process. IL-23 is also responsible for stimulating Th17 cells to release inflammatory cytokines, including IL-17 and TNF-alpha, which are key defenders against bacteria, yeast, and fungi. An excess of these inflammatory cytokines leads to keratinocyte activation and proliferation, causing tissue damage and plaque formation. Therefore, the proper amount of IL-23 regulation keeps the secretion of psoriasis-specific IL-17 and TNF-alpha in balance. By selectively modulating IL-23, Illumia decreases the release of inflammatory cytokines and helps resolve tissue damage. As you've just seen, IL-23 plays a major role in the pathogenesis of psoriasis by regulating the central inflammatory pathway. Controlling the action of IL-23 with Illumia helps restore immune homeostasis for patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Illumia, defy the cycle of psoriasis inflammation. Indication. Illumia, tildrakizumab ASMN, is indicated for the treatment of adults with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis who are candidates for systemic therapy or phototherapy. Important safety information. Contraindications. Illumia is contraindicated in patients with a previous serious hypersensitivity reaction to tildrakizumab or to any of the excipients. Warnings and precautions. Hypersensitivity. Cases of angioedema and urticaria occurred in Illumia-treated subjects in clinical trials. If a serious allergic reaction occurs, discontinue Illumia immediately and initiate appropriate therapy. Infections. Illumia may increase the risk of infection, 
Treatment with Illumia should not be initiated in patients with a clinically important active infection until the infection resolves or is adequately treated. Consider the risks and benefits of treatment prior to prescribing Illumia in patients with a chronic infection or a history of recurrent infection. Instruct patients receiving Illumia to seek medical help if signs or symptoms of clinically important chronic or acute infection occur. If a patient develops a clinically important or serious infection or is not responding to standard therapy, closely monitor and consider discontinuation of Illumia until the infection resolves. Pretreatment Evaluation for Tuberculosis Evaluate patients for tuberculosis TB, infection prior to initiating treatment with Illumia. Do not administer Illumia to patients with active TB infection. Initiate treatment of latent TB prior to administering Illumia. Consider anti-TB therapy prior to initiation of Illumia in patients with a past history of latent or active TB in whom an adequate course of treatment cannot be confirmed. Patients receiving Illumia should be monitored closely for signs and symptoms of active TB during and after treatment. Immunizations Prior to initiating therapy with Illumia, consider completion of all age-appropriate immunizations according to current immunization guidelines. Patients treated with Illumia should not receive live vaccines. Adverse reactions the most common, greater than or equal to 1% adverse reactions associated with Illumia treatment that were more frequent than in the placebo group are upper respiratory infections, injection site reactions, and diarrhea. Please see full prescribing information at IllumiaPro.com. Illumia. Defy the cycle of psoriasis inflammation.